The Divine Walk. Welcome back to the Divine Broadcast. Today's topic will be tips for a mother. Yes, if you're auntie, aunt, grandmother, mother, or even stepmother, you're still a mother, right? So being a mother is one of the most important job that gives to any woman. You understand? And you know that as family grow and they spend time raising children in a nurture way of the Lord, they, they must take care or keep their priority in line. So here are some tips for Christian mother that will help you to be the mother that God created you to be. So let's just go right Number into it. one, spend time with the Lord every day. I think a good motto will be that a follower of Christ isn't just for once a week. A follower of Christ is for every day. I say this because the claim that you are a Christian to say that we are a follower of Christ. We believe that Jesus was crucified, dead, and buried and resurrected three days later to pay our sin debts. And when we say we love Jesus. We should desire to spend time with him every day. And my time with the Lord is when I wake up in the morning, pray, have devotion. This is when I read the Bible, another personal um, devotion book that includes biblical reference. Jesus is my Savior. And my brother, and in order to have a relationship with him, I must spend time reading his word. And this is truth for every Christian. And this is all good communication with us in the age. He teaches us through the Bible, which is the, the Holy Spirit, which is the Holy Word. This might also be the time when you offer prayer to God and your prayer journey include a list of prayer requested and they are not only prayer for you and your family but prayers so others can see as well and I think a verse that came to me is Mark 1 verse 35 and in the morning rise up a great while before day he went down and departed in the day pray and they pray the second tip is make sure your husband come first. This is for women who are married. Your husband and his needs should always come before the needs of your children. Barring any illness or emergency with children. And when he come home from work, your children needs to be thought that you and he needs some time to talk. Just 15 minutes a day when your husband gets home to talk from this day and your home will make a huge difference in your relationship as well. Children need to be trained to understand that your relationship with their dad is, is second only to their relationship with God. And you and your husband were a family before the children were born in the home. And when they leave the nest, you remain a family. Just the two of you maintain a good relationship with your husband. is having a strong family unit as well. And when a short time with Abby is finished, then it will be time for daddy to spend time with the children. While you put a routine will help you with all your children. Fly, neglecting to spend quality time with your husband during the time that the children are at home will make it difficult for the two of you for to have things in common when they leave. Do you understand? Right. For women who are not married, for the mother that does not have a husband in the home, your job is more of a challenge than they that do the bible teach that jesus is the husband james 5 verse 78 and you might find that your time at the end of the day could be spent time with the lord right perhaps this is a time that you and your children may enjoy bible story or family devotion and your strength come from the lord and more time you can spend with him and the stronger you will become in the season of single parent wood this verse came to me, Psalms 121, verse 1 to 2, and it said that I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, for when cometh my, my help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Next one, teach the children to love Jesus. 
Although the Bible clear teaching that the husband is a spiritual leader in the home, the reality is that much of the teaching and training falls to mom as well. Mom spend most of the time with the children and so mom should be prepared to teach the children to love Jesus. So why spiritual training for the children is responsible for both parents? Mom does a lot of it but make them fall in love with Jesus so that when it's time to come to make their own choice in life, they choose Jesus. So Deuteronomy 6 verse 6 to 9, And these words which I have command these days shall be in thy heart, and it shall teach them diligently unto thy children, and shall take them without sitting in thy house, and while thou walkest by the way, and when layest down, and when thou risest up, and thou hast binded for the sign upon thy hand, and they shall be as a fort between thy eyes, and thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house, and on thy gate. Our next tip is remember they are watching you. As you spend time with your children and even with their friends, remember they are little sponge that take up all and that include the bad and the good and be careful of the be careful to be a good role model for children and let your church daughter see what godly wife and mommy look like because one day God might bless her with her husband and let your son learn from the behavior that they should be looking for in a wife. One day your children will be grow and the way you raise them, your mother to them and it will be a huge impact in how they related to their new family. Remember what Paul wrote about Timothy in 2 Timothy 1 verse 5. He said that when I call to remember the unfetched faith that is in thee, which dwell first in the grandmother Louis and surely mother uses and I am persecuted that is in thee also. The next tip is go to church and be involved. I pray that you are a mother who are able to meet with a body of believer regularly. Time spent with fellow be believer and corporate worship is encouraging not only to yourself but also to those who worship with you. Teach the children that church is a special time and it is a privilege to go there. Learn to trust the nurse, the worker to take care of your young children so that they might attend preaching, service, volunteer at nurse, the worker said you so that some other mother may attend service as well. So Romans 12 verse 5 says, So we being many are one body in Christ and everyone a member one to another. Yes. The next thing is seek all Christian girlfriend be sure to have some girlfriend of your own time you spend in a relationship with people outside your family unit until the impact of a relationship with your family you should be careful that you have friends that are other women of faith like you close relationship with man and other than your husband will put in the path of temptation and even though you feel that will never happen to you friends are very important and every mom need at least one true friend be friendly be sure to have friends Friend. Proverbs 18 verse 24 said a man that had a friend must show himself friendly and there is a friend that stick it closer than a brother and the last and final tip is I found no doubt being a mother is hard I know because many have done it I have seen it but don't ever forget that these are the children you are raising and children to have fun that mean do goofy things every now and then a hot day surprise the children spontaneous water balloon fire or take an up and plan a trip to the zoo hang on with friend Bible study laugh Go to them. Let them know that you love them and realize that they are children. Even though your job is hard sometimes and you want to cherish the moment you have with them. As Psalms 32 verse 11 says, Be glad in the Lord and rejoice ye righteous and shout for joy all he that are upright. So these are my tips for Christian mothers. I hope this helped you. Thank you for watching my video. Like, comment and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next session. Drop your topic below and I will do it for you. Thank you.